Hey everybody, my name's Azalea and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. So today we have the answer to the big question. If you were watching my previous videos, then you saw me looking at an old extreme fixer upper. And I was like, are we gonna buy it? Are we gonna buy it? We were having a home inspection and several of you have expressed interest on, did we buy the house? Well, today you'll get the answer. Y'all, we bought the house. We bought it. <laughs> so we bought a 1929 Extreme Fixer Upper. Me and John, John is my romantic partner, my life partner, and we are now becoming business partners. So you can go back and look at that whole video where I gave a tour of what condition the house is in. I can show you guys a few pictures <laughs> of what's going on over there. It is an extreme fixer upper. So you guys, I'm sure you got a lot of questions. I definitely plan on doing a Q and A video at some point in the future. So any questions you have, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. And if you see a question that you're like, hmm, yes, I'd like to know the answer, go ahead and like or comment on another person's questions. Let me know what I need to be covering. So you guys, this is my dream. Like, this is my dream. I am now stepping forward into my next phase of life, living my dream. My dream and my hope that has kept me going and working and striving for the last four years. This is what it's been about. This is what it's been about. So I'm gonna start by giving you a little backstory to let you know how and why this has become my dream. If y'all are loyal followers, then y'all probably already know all this. Lord knows if you're on the Patreon, you definitely know all of this. But in a past life, I was married with two children. I owned a big old white house and I owned a brick rancher uh, that was used as a rental property. So in the marriage, both of those houses were bought at the high end of what we were pre-approved for for a home loan. So both of those houses had mortgages and in the relationship, in the marriage, I took a 100%, 100% hands off approach to all finances, to all bills. I felt like my role and what I really wanted to focus on was raising the children and housekeeping and the gardening you know I was homemaking and raising the children um, I had this vision of homeschooling both of my children and that was a big mistake the finances had been poorly managed completely unplanned the divorce coincided with both houses being foreclosed upon and my ex's bankruptcy it was a disaster foreclosure of the houses ended up leaving me, my children, my animals without money, with nowhere to go, homeless, rootless. And, you know, we had really built a life in our home and we were just completely displaced, completely. Um, ended up landing in my parents' basement. All right, y'all, before I tell y'all how I rebuilt my life and am now living my dream, y'all pause leave a thumbs up on this video. If you are not already subscribed, uh, subscribe. <laughs> and let me know any questions that have already popped into your mind at this point. And then listen to how I've done rebuilt my life. So I didn't rebuild my life. I didn't aim to be back where I was before tragedy and calamity hit. I reimagined what my life could be. I reinvented myself my goals, I learned, I learned so much, and I made a plan. So, while dealing with divorce lawyers and all that crap, living in my parents' basement, and then living in my nanny's guest room, a dream was born. My dream was born. So, you know, from the time I think I was in, you know, early 20s, you know, just from a young age, I was interested in like the concept of debt-free living. Like debt didn't make sense to me. And you know, when I was married, I brought this up 
and I was laughed at and, you know, told that's not how the world works, you know, silly Azalea. So, hey, guess what, y'all? Debt-free living is achievable and a very true source of freedom in your life and your life choices. I learned after going through my divorce that I had been living my life, letting other people steer my boat, letting other people direct my destiny, and trusting other people more than I trusted my own self. And I learned that I was actually the most intelligent person in my life. Who knew? Not me, but I realized it and I realized to trust myself. I learned to trust myself. I saw clearly while in that basement, the dream was born and I saw clearly how to build a substantial, secure future for me and my children. And the way to do that was to buy a home with cash that can never be taken away from us, that wasn't on a mortgage, so the bank actually owns the house, and if calamity strikes, they'll just take it away from you. I knew that I needed to buy a home for me and my children. Your living, your house, your mortgage, your rent is your biggest expense in life. And if I could take that expense out, I knew that my wealth would begin to build. And so I started thinking, you have to think outside the box because our society is built on credit-based consumerism and keeping up with the Joneses. So I had to be like, uh, let me just reimagine within my own mind. So I'm thinking about alternative things. I'm thinking about bus and van and camper conversions. I'm thinking about yurts. I'm thinking about small parcels, parcels of land off-grid living, compost and toilets. I'm thinking about tiny houses. I'm thinking about fixer-uppers. So the thing about fixer-uppers is, and I went through a whole process with this and how I learned this, that'll be another video, is to get a dirt cheap fixer-upper, you have to purchase it with cash. It is very easy to get a house for $20,000 if you are doing a cash purchase. You can't use traditional home loans, you know? And there are things like construction loans and different things, but there is a chance to buy something at a very low price if that property would not be approved for a home loan. Once the property gets fixed up and, you know, becomes habitable and, you know, has the boxes checked to be approved for a traditional home loan that most people use, it skyrockets in value you gain money because people can use loans for it so they'll pay way more because loans are kind of like free money in your psychology so if you're paying cash you can get something for dirt cheap and there's a wealth jump for after you get the house fixed up to the point that it will now qualify for a traditional home loan so I see opportunity and I think to myself yeah I'm gonna need a fixer-upper and especially when I entered my partnership with John and, you know, we're building a life together, you know, me and the two kids and John, you know, in like a yurt or a tiny house doesn't make as much sense as it did before for me and just the kids. So Fix Travers looking better and better. And for years, this whole process is four years. That's my timeline. For the past four years, I've looked at the real estate market every single day. I have seen everything list. I've seen places get fixed up. I've seen what they then sold for. I have gone and looked in person at everything on the bottom end of the price range, like from 10 to 40 grand. I have looked at everything closely. So that's been a whole big process. And I knew, I knew that I was going to break the rent slash mortgage wheel of bondage. I was never going to again live my life in a subservient role to a romantic partner. I was never going to be chained 
to a nine to five job where the boss was awful, the wages were unfair, but I couldn't afford to quit. I was never gonna be chained to one of those situations if I didn't have the number one major expense of rent slash mortgage. So I knew I was about to break that wheel, but I had to work hard, right? So for four years, I became fixated on living off of as little money as possible. Every tiny detail. You know, my priority, I was planning on homeschooling both of the children. I have continued to homeschool my son, Tom. Pat on back, that's a big goal achieved. This whole time, um, I've had different jobs. I've saved every penny possible. And I tucked that money away in the stock market. That is a video for another day. But over the past four years, I have been preparing and saving and singularly minded working towards this specific goal. So tons of these videos, all my videos on homemaking, simple living, all of this is tied in to my life goal, my dream. So what does this mean for Way Crunchy? Y'all, we got new content coming. We got new content coming. I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna show you everything. We can learn together. And there's gonna be some calamity because it's an old house. It's a fixer upper. There's gonna be some calamity and I'll share that. And there's gonna be smiling and there's gonna be laughing and there's gonna be hard work. And I'm gonna pour my sweat, blood and tears into this house. I'm doing this with my partner, John, and we're 50-50 partners. I like to keep finance and romance separate and steer my own boat. But there is no one else I would do this with other than John. He's sharp as a tack and fit as a fiddle. I have very exactly planned out how I'm going to be presenting these videos. And I want to keep an account of every dollar spent so y'all can see what's really happening and where the money goes and how it turns out. So in each video, it'll be like paint, $38, nails, you know, electricians, big dollar sign, plumber, big dollar sign, but I'm going to share it and it's going to be real. It's going to be really real. And I can't wait. I cannot wait. Everything I can do myself or John can do himself. We're going to do it. We're going to save that money. y'all. It's a passion project. It's living my dream. I literally want to sweat, bleed and cry over this house. So together, we can learn a lot and I hope that, you know, someone out there can be inspired by my vision of breaking the debt, rent, mortgage wheel and find a new sense of freedom in life.